हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैट लैब एंड आर टी लैब सो टुडे टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज न्यूरल नेटवर्क बेस्ड सोलर पीवी एमपीवीटी यू कैन सी इट इन द स्क्रीन सो हो कमिंग to this channel for the first time i request you subscribe in this channel i am going to upload videos like this and related to rt lab opelrt real time simulation also so obviously subscribe this channel so whenever i will upload videos you will be able to watch faster so <clears throat> i will try to uh, show you all the blocks that is added in this model simulink model okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> this one is pv panel you can see here i have used one module from here defaults there are so many module are there you can use as your requirement okay or you can go to user defined and you can put this value manually okay pv array and here i have used one real data set you can use uh, this type of real data set how to use if you have excel data set how to use if you don't know you can watch my other videos uh to know it okay i have uh, one uh, real data set in excel file i have used the data as irradiance and temperature so variable data i have used and here is the neural network based mpvd i'll go inside you later here pwm generator and yeah so let's go inside this let's check all this value okay for capacitor this one value is 100 e minus 6 you can pause the video and you can watch it you can see it carefully okay l value diode value igbt diode value capacitors one more this one is boost converter okay r grounded here here uh, yeah, this one is power curve let's run the model model is running here yeah. so what actually mpvt does in solar model it mpvt actually used to it mpvt signal uh, actually used to it boost converter okay so this one uh, this part is boost converter you can see here so mpvt what the uh, what it does uh, mainly it just give the reference voltage value okay reference voltage value to compare with the actual voltage and update it update the voltage okay. i think you know that 
so mppt is mainly used for that only and it can take input two types of input one is like uh, pv voltage and current and also uh, uh, it can use <coughs> the irradiance and temperature okay irradiance and temperature or pv voltage and current values it can mpvt can take as a input to give the reference voltage so from here we are getting uh, we are taking the voltage value from the pv panel for <coughs> this neural network for the training of this neural network, look here, this neural network is actually giving the reference voltage. From that, PWM is, this PWM is giving pulse to this IGBT diode of the boost converter. Okay. Here I have used G means irradiation data and T means temperature data as input to neural network and output is voltage. So for training this neural network you need this input data and output data after that you can train the network and use <coughs> you can use that train network in your simulink model so how to train uh, net, uh, that neural network ok let's go to MATLAB uh, so clear command Just type n n n n start s t a r t n n start and open it. Just n n start and open it. So neural network start <coughs> and start it came. Okay, neural network tool was just go to fitting. You can choose other options as you recommend, but for this model fitting I have used and now what you have to do, you have to import data here. Here it's showing no valid workspace variable, uh, no workspace variable, okay. <coughs> so what you have to do predictor data means the input data in excel sheet or in uh, variable workspace variable you can use it means if you don't know how to use it I have make videos on that also uh, how to take input to train a neural network ok you can watch that one we have to give that uh, input data this one predict and our response data output data you have to change row, uh, row or column as means depending on your uh, data types means uh, is it in row or column means uh, while uh, while uploading now please check that uh, how many specification and how many I mean suppose you have uh, two data A and B and for different uh, one second, two second, three second, four second, five second uh, like that just check that one depending on that change row or column option okay after training here you can uh, uh, after putting you can choose this uh, validation data here 
testing data here how much percentage you want to add and all after training you have to go to this export model and you can export in different types what we have export here is simulink model okay export as simulink model is this one is simulink model after exporting a simulink uh, model it came and I have used it in the model to get the reference voltage okay your filter used first order filter and one zero order zero order holds okay and it will compare here and after that through PID controller and after going through PWM generator it will give pulse to the IGVT diode okay or boost converter and we have already run this model so let's check the output here is the power output you can see here okay. it's reaching up to 65 here is the voltage Thirty one, thirty two, like that, and current two. So, <clears throat> if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment box. Okay, how to use this uh, Excel data in model and whatever uh, like if you have any confusion or doubts you can ask about your uh, here I think you can see view three warnings algebraic variable uh, found algebraic loop containing so okay. I have made videos on that also how to eliminate this algebraic loop okay you can check in my channel videos are available there so thank you once again bro guys and please subscribe this channel i am going to upload this kind of videos and also related to rt lab so thank you bye bye